Hello and welcome everyone to this video. We're going to cover the advanced vehicle engines in Stormworks as of 4.14. I'm briefly going to go over each engine, um, talk about them a little bit. I'm also going to tell you how to hook them up and then also to pipe them. All the components I use and then we're also going to be talking a little bit about the clutch and the gearbox and how I've used them in this example itself. First off, I'm going to quickly go over and tell you about each of the engines. First off, we have for you is going to be a small electric motor. We also have the medium electric motor, the large electric motor, aircraft engine, normal engine, and the diesel engine. First off, we are going to go over to the small electric motor. As you can see here, I have a throttle, a dial, which is telling me how much battery I have, or electric charge, and the battery itself. Moving on to the motor, the small electric motor, which is then connected to a small generator, and then we have the pellet. Pretty much the throttle itself is going through to the engine. Once that engine turns on, it's going to give power to both the generator and the propeller. The generator is just going to recharge my battery, and then obviously the engine itself is going to turn the propeller. Electric motors, as they are in the game, currently can go forward and backwards. So if I send a signal of one to it, it's going to go forward. If I send a signal of minus one, it's going to go backwards. Throttle of one, forward. Throttle of minus one, backwards. Pretty simple, pretty easy. We then go on to go on to our medium sized electric motor. Once again, exactly the same principle, throttle, dial cell, electric charge, battery, the motor itself, a small old generator just to recharge the battery and the propeller. Once again, throttle of one and it goes forward, throttle of minus one and it goes backwards. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Next off, we have the large electric motor. Exactly the same principle, throttle, dial, tunneling electric charge, battery, motor itself, small generators recharge the battery and the propeller. I'm going to hit a one, it's going to go forward, minus one, it's going to go back. I'm going to go over to the aircraft engine. Now, this is where it's going to get a little more complex in terms of piping and wiring and how you want to set it up. Obviously, there's multiple different ways and obviously on the workshop you see people have set up in multiple different ways and options. First off, I'm going to tell you quickly about the components I used. Simply four dials. First is fuel, second is electric charge, rotations per second, and the temperature. Throttle to control the throttle of the engine. We then have a starter motor. Hold this three seconds, it will turn the engine on if it has the right components to it, i.e. fuel, air, and coolant. We have buttons to change the gear, and then we have buttons to change the clutch. We'll get back to that later. Battery, the engine itself, fuel tank, and radiator. Fuel tank connects to the piping into the fuel inlet. We have the exhaust out. There's two of them on the aircraft engine itself going up into exhaust pipes. We then have the radiator which is connected through pipes. Coolant out from the engine into the radiator, cools it down and then back into the engine itself. Nice and cool, pretty easy. Moving on to the back of the engine, you can see there's a inlet for air and then there's also our standard power output. As always, mine is going into a small oil generator just to recharge the battery. On these engines, I've added a clutch and a gearbox, which then goes into the propeller. So first off, power goes in the generator, recharges the battery. It then moves into the clutch, where it's either engaged or disengaged, then goes into the gearbox, where it has two gears. I'm briefly going to talk about the gearbox now. Um, so the gearbox has two gears, it has eight modes, starting at 1-1. dash minus one. That's going to be for reverse, and then you have another seven modes, one to one, one to two, and so on and so forth for the different ratios, and the propeller itself. Now, if we go ahead, we give a little throttle, we hit the start motor, you'll see that the engine itself starts. However, there is no power going to the propeller. That's because I have the clutch engaged. As soon as I disengage that clutch, there's power going through once again to the propeller. If I was to change gear, how I do it is to once again engage the clutch, change the gear and then disengage the clutch and you'll see that the radio or the gear has changed obviously you can set that to what you like let's go ahead and just kill this motor once again we then move on to our normal engine you'll see once again the components are exactly the same however it's just by what part popped up a little bit differently as the ports on different spaces you have the fuel you have the radio for the coolant you have the exhaust going out and you have the air intake as always, I've got it coming out into a small old generator which is powering the battery, or recharging the battery, sorry. I've also added a clutch, a gearbox, and a propeller. Pretty simple, very easy. OK, 
give it a little throw, hold the starter, and you'll see we have power. Nothing going through, once again, because I have the clutch engaged, disengage the clutch, and you'll see there is power again. I'm just going to go and kill that to get rid of the noise. And then lastly, we move on to our diesel engines. These are the biggest and most powerful diesel engines in the game at the moment, as far as I'm aware. Uh, if anyone knows anything different, please go ahead and tell me. Uh, these have quite a few different pipes coming in and out of them. Uh, as my other diesel engines, I have the output going into a generator, clutch, gearbox, propeller. Very simple, very easy. Air intake coming into the engine. Exhaust, two of them, both joined up together coming in and out we have the coolant coming out into radio and then coming back in nice and cool and the fuel itself going up into the engine uh, battery all the normal dials and then obviously gear clutch starter motor and throttle I have to give you a nice big throttle hold it down for a couple of seconds you'll see that we have the engine on no power going through once again because the clutch is engaged disengage the clutch and then we have the power pretty good pretty simple just a quick uh, mention of the clutch and the gearbox itself. Clutches currently as they work um, either take a zero or one number input. If you get a zero it means the clutch is engaged, it will not move. Uh, the propeller has all the power going through it. If you give it a one it's going to disengage the it's going to disengage the clutch and it's going to send power through. Pretty simple, very easy. Gearbox itself it's just a simple toggle you pretty much just going to give it a toggle switch and that's just going to toggle between the different ratios. Very simple, very easy. And that pretty much covers about it. Um, if you guys have a look, if you want to find this creation, it's on the workshop at the moment. Uh, I am trying to keep it updated uh, with all the new components and all the different features that they are adding throughout the game. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, please come into the Discord community. There are lots of people that can help. I'm on there myself uh, and we're always willing to help and give a hand to anyone that needs it. Uh, and then lastly, um, as always, I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it somewhat informative. Um, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for any future content that might be coming up uh, with future updates. And once again, thank you.